family didn't know. Really. My family's here, so my wife back there, my two kids, they know exactly, I think they know they want to do. Really. So let's just see how it goes. Um, now, the, the, the song is, is, the song is pretty, it's like, like the work. And, and, and it's, it's, I didn't write the song. Uh, and I may not do all of it, but um, I was thinking about playing it while, it was, um, while the show was going on. So, so here it goes. <clears throat> Trying to get offended. For oh, there was an old donkey and they called him Uncle Ned. But he died long ago, long ago. He had no wool on the top of his head. In the place where the wool would have grown. Then they down shovel and the hole. And hang up the fiddle and the bowl. No more hard work for poor old Ned. He's gone where the good donkeys go. No more hard work for a poor old man. He's gone where the good donkeys go. So. <laughs> that's a song that's on an album that I found on um, early minstrelsy. And I play that song, I play the whole album when I'm working on this. It, it, it inspires me to continue doing what I'm doing. It, it's, it's, it's acapella, which I, I love singing acapella. Uh, and um, so it's, it's very, it's crafty. It's, it's an it's a interesting little song, like the caricatures that you see me referencing. Uh, well done. Uh, I find myself kind of, when I'm listening to it in the studio, as I'm looking at the artwork, uh, the, the the caricatures, the references, um, um, all the, the racist sort of imagery, um, the negative imagery, or images that I that that's out there, it's in the public. So I found them, and I wanted to do something with them, like like, like I did with that song. Uh, it just so happened that I I I, I sang on choirs, and so I could. I said, you know what? That's okay. I can we can go low tech, and I can just sing part of it. So so that's what. But I wanted to share that, that, that that's, that's part of what I'm trying to do. Um, you know, as far as the images and the, the music and all the other things being in the past, I don't know that they are so much in the past. You know, and certainly if we watch the news over the past you know, couple of years uh, with what happened with George Floyd and uh, you know, Ahmaud Arbery and, and so on and so forth. I mean, so. Uh, Unfortunately, it's it's I feel and I believe it's it's those these things are still with us. Uh, what motivates people to 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 display hate and to show hate and to to uh, against people because of their race? A uh, race, excuse me. Um, I like I'm thinking, wondering if it's these images, not my images, but you know the original ones. Uh, and so also, what you try, what you see me try and do, I try to show the original. Uh, I, I make art out of them, but the original is there. Um, so um, I remember uh, in one exhibition, someone came up to me and said, um, and it wasn't that long ago, she walked into the, into the space and she said, um, I want us to, this is before um, George Floyd and, and some of the, so she said, I want us to leave this in the past. I just, I just think you ought to leave this. And, and at that time, I think it was, well, something had happened, but it wasn't as frequent as, but it's there, it's always there, the sort of the, the racial undertone, the sort of um, lynchings, you know, the, the, they pop up every once in a while. I think at one point it was in a high school, when they had the news, the news uh, in the high schools, uh, that someone would display nooses at, at high schools at that time. At one time there was uh, an African-American man in Jasper, Texas named James Bird who was dragged behind a truck. That wasn't that long ago. And I, I just remember uh, just feeling that, just, oh my gosh, you know. And so uh, if it, and Walter Scott, if it, if it can happen to them, uh, you know, it could, it, could, it could still happen. I have a family, I have uh, 
siblings and aunts and uncles and cousins and I myself am black male, you know, uh, what, what is it? What is it that causes um, those things to happen? Um, and I'm very, and I'm a visible, I, I use that sometimes in my art statement, I, I'm very, I'm a visible African American uh, with brown skin. And so I can't hide that, you know, uh, and assimilate. Um, so anyway, um, so I wanted to show uh, earlier pieces. So the larger pieces uh, were several years ago. Uh, and I've never shown them uh, in this part of South Carolina. To be honest with you, I've never, they've been upstate and other places, but I've never shown them in this part of South Carolina. And Jana and, and uh, Kevin Morrissey, they gave me an, an opportunity um, to, I said, why, why don't you put some of the larger ones in? Oh, they're kind of old. That's okay, but we've never, they've never seen it here, so show it here. So it's a part of a, a collection of, there, there are others that are that size. I think that in total there are like 10. Uh, so this is four out of that set. Um, and then, uh, then I have the series that's behind you, um, that was, uh, in, I think, in 2013. With the exception of the one that, if you see the, the Rollins sweater, <laughs> that, 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 that's, the, that's a newer piece, the one just right behind with that profile. Yeah, that, so that, that piece belongs with this set that I'm going to talk about that's behind me. So those are the, most, the newer pieces. And, uh, and, then, yeah, and then we have these pieces, which um, they were like works in progress. They were done digitally at first, the Photoshop, where in my studio, I had a larger studio at one point, but then we, we moved, and so I had to adapt you know, the work to the space that I had like, to work in. Uh, but but I, think, I think it worked out for me pretty well, because the sort of reference to paper doll cutouts, uh, you know, and, and we don't normally see them as large as this, um, so I have an option of making them smaller, and sometimes an option of making them larger, but they're all drawings, though. They're all drawings. So I could take some questions. Um, we could continue the discussion. What was this reference right here? Okay, so the, the, um, the catalyst, the catalyst, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the, the, the one on the, on the left. That's uh, Jim Crow. And some of us uh, in America, you know, there was uh, Jim Crow laws. Uh, but they also turned into, it was a caricature too, a minstrel. Uh, uh, a Caucasian person who dressed in, in, uh, in blackface. Uh, and, then, and then there were African Americans who dressed in blackface. Uh, clownish kind of characters. Uh, they kind of reminiscent of, of old slaves on a plantation with, uh, you know, the clothing is ragged clothing and everything. And so, but, you know, of course, they're making fun of slaves. And, and, uh, and that song he sang was kind of like making, making fun of these real people, you know, and, and, and uh, with their stories. And, and so what I'm trying to do on the right, you know, just, you know, they're, they're still real people. Um, I like the fact that the gaze is kind of, how they kind of, at least the, the, the drawing on the left, the, the eyes, he's staring at this guy, you know, and uh, so the, the whole paper doll thing, which is the, the tabs, right? The tabs, you see the tabs on the Jim Crow character, the one on the left. If you could cut that out and then place that on the figure, that's, that, that's kind of the idea, um, you know, and, but at the same time, like I said, I'm trying to show that th these are real people behind these masks. These, and the show was called um, We Wear the Mask Again. I wasn't thinking about, you know, these kinds of masks. It's just, you know, uh, it just, it just, it's a coincidence. It, it's, a, it's a nice coincidence. But I'm talking about the mask, the psychological masks uh, that some people have to wear. They have to wear to survive. Uh, and, and, the, and a lot of these people, um, um, uh, enslaved people, enslaved persons, they have to, you know, they have to hide behind their, Behind where? You know, it's like the, <laughs> you were African American, you were a slave, and that's it. And so, um, but they were real people within themselves, within their skin. One of the pieces, uh, the piece I was just referring to back there, uh, behind, uh, um, behind my, my, my family, is called physiognomy. Physiognomy. Physiognomy uh, is the study of a person's character beneath their skin. 
it's like, you know, the, it, are you really telling me the truth? It's one of those kind of like, you know, do, do you really, you know, do, I see the smile, but are you really happy? You know, are you really, but and we, we'll never know. But we know their stories, that, that they were incredibly um, sad, their sadness. Can you imagine being a slave, an American slave at that time? And then Reconstruction and, and, and the 60s, and oh my goodness, we, you know, and, and now, it, it's, things have gotten better, yes, things have gotten better, but things are still um, very turbulent. Yeah. These, these, yeah. Yes. And so, and so, yeah, I, I want to show the, I want to show that too, the duality. By the way, that We Wear the Mask is, was a, a, a poem written by uh, Paul, Lawrence Dun, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, We Wear the Mask, The Greenest and Lies. It shades, I can't think of it, it's, but it's a, it's, a, it's a poem. And he's talking about that, that, that duality of having to survive as an African American uh, in society at that time. You dare not show resistance. You dare not do that. But, and so, but I want to show that there, there's still resist, there's resistance there. Sometimes we have to go along in order to survive. Uh, it's just, so we can survive. We have families, you know, and so on. So, I know that's a long answer. So, oh, that's great. <laughs> sure. Any other any questions or? I have a statement. I'm glad you put life size because that really gives it the full meaning of it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I know my, my, my kid had a, he had a question. I told him to save his question. My son had a question about, would you want, I don't need to put you on the spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Could you ask the question you were asking me? You wanted to? <laughs> that's grandma. Can you tell? That's, that's grandma. <laughs> that's grandma right there. <laughs> what, what other question? You had a question earlier about one of them. Right, right, and, and uh, so and I told him, I said, I said, oh, you'll never know. That's part of the, 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 the illusion that artists, you know, we can use, we can use cutouts, and sometimes we can draw it so that it looks like a, uh, that it's actually integrated into the paper. And I told him I wouldn't tell them. Um, um, but I'm trying to think of the, uh, oh my goodness, the, the, the African American uh, gentleman down in Florida, Trayvon Martin. Martin. Thank you. Right, right. So, so I, I had him on my mind when I made that piece. Uh, that, that incident had, had just had occurred around that time, Trayvon Martin. And you know, they said he had a, he was, he was, he had a bag of skills in his hand when he was walking back from the store, when he confronted or was confronted by George Zimmerman in that whole situation. And he and Trayvon Martin ends up dead, as we all, as most of us probably know. Uh, so, so I had, I was thinking about him. I was thinking about that situation. I've had someone ask me, is that Trayvon Martin? I said, oh, tell you. You know, because is that how George Zimmerman saw him? As a, as a, you know, for me, as a, uh, a caricature, a, a, a black caricature with the big lips, you know, and the bug eyes and so on. Is that how he saw him? Um, so, any other? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I want a statement in bio. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, we were there, and that was, you know, it was a beautiful place. I mean, as an artist, you know, it was a lifetime opportunity. You know, thanks to my wife, you know, I was very close to not going. That's how I was going. And I'm so glad I did. I saw the Sistine Chapel in real life. I was like, oh, I was I cried. I, I cried. You know, still get choked up. And the fourth, how long have you been at the fourth? Um, first year. First year. First year of the fourth. Yeah, I just started in August at the fourth, um, Fort Dorchester High School. Yeah. The Picasso Museum was also very moving, being being there too. Um, so, 
Yeah. Spain, Spain. Spain is definitely wonderful. It is, it is. And you sometimes terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds very good. Hi, yes. Uh, all, all those made out of pencil, like all, all of the big ones. The, the large ones, charcoal. Charcoal, yeah. Big, big blocks of ch soft charcoal. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was very challenging um, and to keep the paper clean, so I have to really you know, plan things out pretty well. Uh, you see the paper has some, it, it, and it's hard to keep paper like that nice and wrinkle-free. Is this, yeah. The smaller ones are, are color pencils and, and, and cutouts and those for the large ones are charcoal. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that question. Damon, I'd like to share uh, just in the uh, what day that this is you you hung it Wednesday night. Uh, we've gotten a lot of feedback about this show, but one unexpected piece of feedback that we've gotten um, was uh, a, a gay man came up to me and he said, "I can relate with this feeling of the paper cutout being placed on myself. Um, you know, this caricature of me or this expectation of who the world sees me as put, being put on myself." Have you, um, throughout the, the, the reign of this show, as you've shared it in other places, have you heard the, that kind of feedback? Obviously, it, it connects with people in the black community, but have you heard other people connect with it in that way? I, I have not. I have not. Um, I, I, think, I think being able to, you know, maybe a, a, a component where the who am I, or maybe it's some kind of a place to, to share that, uh, is something I could make a, a part of the, uh, and also that that's another piece that's in the, uh, that I didn't point out. That's in this collection, the Who Am I piece, where you can actually write a comment on there um, in response to the piece. I think it would be really helpful to, to hear who else kind of feels that, feels that way, and has that similar experience, yeah. Hey, hey, one of my colleagues there. Hi. Oh, sorry about that. I'm noticing a lot of yellow and gold notes. Is there some mild decisions? Um, so, right, so I was in a residency uh, when I made those pieces, uh, and um, and the, the the facilitator, right, he, he kind of challenged us to kind of say, I don't want you to do your work, to do your thing, but maybe add these elements, you know. I'm having because he had one, all the students to kind of, and so tracing paper, I said, okay, and um, yeah, and it kind of worked out, you know. Also, the the, the frottage, you know, the, the the textural paper also became a part of that series. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like an afterthought, but I kind of, I tried to integrate it, yeah. And, and I kept it going in this piece because it kind of worked. I needed something, I needed something in the back to kind of, I wanted something, I wanted to do something with that space back there behind the two figures. Uh, and I think, and, and so it just so happened, I think it works, yeah. Any other? Questions or thoughts? <laughs> I don't want to keep. I don't want to go over time. We still got ten minutes. <laughs> well, I want to say I want to say thank you for not erasing the past, but oh. progressing it to where it needs to be. Because a lot of times the past gets erased and it doesn't. Without the past, you can't learn for the future. That's right. I agree. I'm just going to ask. Uh, what were the dice's needs um, in the seat? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, that's a, so, uh, yeah, I think that that's, that's a drawing from the, I think the early, early 1900s, like the 20s and, and around that time. Yeah. Uh, the sort of, um, it kind of goes along with that whole, uh, so free African Americans, uh, you know, and, pro and being progressive and, and moving up in the world, you know, the talented 10th. You know, uh, W.E. Du Bois, uh, Booker T. Washington, they were still being made fun of, you know. And so I'm thinking about, for instance, there was a, there was a caricature called Zip Coon. Zip Coon. He's sharp, you know, and so that, that's that figure right there with, with the suit, you know. And so, um, yeah, and I, think, I think that's actually, that came from a cartoon. This is a, this is a, the mouth part came from a cartoon. And they made cartoons. You know, uh, darky cartoons, um, Tar Baby, Pickaninny, all these, Sambo, all these, and then they became cartoons. And so, um, so yeah, it's just kind of playing around, shooting craps, you know. 
being shiftless, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, and playful. You know, never, never really serious after marriage. Never really serious about work or anything. But I just, they just want to play and gamble and and, and live it up. Gotcha. Yeah. So I, I, let me. I would, I would like to point something out. Um, so the piece that's. Uh, I was hoping one of my students would a student would be uh, was telling them that sometimes you know, you can you you have yourself as a person and as an artist you can use your own body you know you own your own body and, and so you can use yourself as a reference uh, and so that body so this figure right here uh, Poppy Poppy is his name right this this piece right here the character's name the char the caricature's name is Poppy and he's having a conversation with with, with his master. Okay, about the Emancipation Proclamation. Okay, so, and I have lots of them that I'm, I'm trying to do this to paper doll thing with, right? I'm trying to substitute, uh, recreate a new context for, for, for trying to make them, and my mother, she doesn't know this, but I'm, I'm going to say this to her, but um, I, I described to her what I was trying to do once, and she said, um, and I told her I wanted to do something with the caricatures, and she said, <laughs> she, again, she, she probably just, she didn't notice, she, it was just profound, she said, um, you know, dress them up, dress them up, make them look nice. <laughs> and this is years ago, she said that. I said, yeah, huh, yeah. So, 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 so Poppy is here on the left. So the, the original scene, right, with, without the dotted lines. This is a piece right here, without the dotted lines. And in and, and color, that, that, that's the original image. And that conversation, I didn't make the conversation, that's the conversation like I mentioned earlier. But what I'm trying to do to the left here, so where you, you see me, well, that's what I look like with the mask off, right? On the, the right, with the paper doll thing. So, um, so I want to help. I want to help Pompey, and so I want to use me as a stand-in. You know, let me be the substitute, and that's why I got that fist. You so you put that figure back in that context, and he's that shaking that fist at, at his master. It's a new conversation. Okay, so that, that's, that's kind of where the work is going. I have to start here with this large stuff and paper doll, and, and, and I said, oh. And at some point, I like turn these into books, you know, actual books, and that, that, so that, that's coming. But also, the, the brown poppy, this poppy right here, the, so that's actually my body. That's actually my body that I photograph. I, you know, just like it, over here, I, 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 I struck the pose. I'm trying to, like, over, even over here, I'm trying to recreate that pose. And it's really, really hard. So there's a performance thing that happens in my studio. And it's very, it's, it's very cathartic. Sometimes I cry, like you see me doing it. And I'm like, in order for those people to do this, and it's, it's really interesting experience, you know, that I'm sharing with you that you don't know happens in, this, in the studio. But I'm, I'm trying to put that back into the work. Uh, so that fist is shaking a hand at that master. You know, and imagine what the conversation would be like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so that's my body, hold the, the new Poppy body. But it's Poppy's head. Mm -hmm. Well, I had to create Poppy's head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you sit, so I, I'm in each one of these pieces. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So like I said, I, I, I didn't write the script. Okay. No, no the, the original artist, uh, I'm not sure if it was Thomas Nass, whatever, the, the original artist who wrote, wrote that, you know, I, I thought it was, it was very, the conversation is, wow, this is, you know, <laughs> and of course in reference to Lincoln and, and, and proclamation, like I said, Emancipation Proclamation, it's just kind of subverting the whole thing. It's just making it, making it very absurd, this freedom, right? You know, uh, 
So, uh, but no, that's the original conversation. I just copied it and just put it, and that's the original image. Uh, when, you know, without, I added the yellow in the dotted line. That's the only thing I added in the, the way I painted it. Yes, ma'am. You can look that, you can look up that image, you'll see that very poppy and master. And you'll see that that's, <laughs> I hope I didn't confuse you. Is that, is that, yeah. Uh, is that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I see any students, Simone, but, but okay, so I don't want to, yeah, Jan, I don't want to hold up the, the group for the next, uh, next person. Are there any 